what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your very first time joining me my name is jessica i am a mother as well as a makeup lover of course for today's video i am keeping up with the theme of doing rainbow looks for pride so today's look is inspired by jg color story her name is jessica my name is jessica twins um she's so creative and her color stories like so it's jg color stories her color stories are absolutely iconic um i sometimes i have a little bit of a difficult time um like coming up with inspo or ideas um but she kind of breaks things down and makes it easier for you so i do really i do really love her page um definitely you guys should check her out on instagram um again did you color story here's a sneak peek preview of the vibes it's giving lucky charms <laughs> I'm gonna be doing my eyes as well as my face for you guys in today's video, so let me know what you think. And of course, don't forget to stay tuned until the very end of the video where I will do an up close of my makeup for you guys. That way, you could see the true beauty of the blend. And if you're curious about the products I use and how I achieved this makeup, definitely keep on watching. <music> For this look today, I'm going to be taking the Blend Bunny Blends palette. It has absolutely every color I'm going to need. You may help you. Yeah, it's Okay. So I did already prime my eyelids. And I'm going to be starting with the purples. So we're going to just take a whole purple row starting with Bewitched. I'm taking this on a Blend Bunny B1 brush. And I'm going for a cut crease shape so I'm really just packing this down my little cut crease shape here hey, pretty even yeah next taking shade signs um, I think I'm going to take this on the same brush. I'll just dust it off really good. And just go right into circle motions. Start blending her out. Making sure I save space for one more shade. Now I'm going to take a fluffy brush with shade Giggle. This is also a Blend Bunny brush. This is a B5. I'm just really smoking this out. And then I'll go back in with all of my colors to perfect. So this is what it looks like all blended out. I am going for super, super dramatic, but I am going to go ahead and cut the crease and lay down the P. Louise rewrite base. And then I just took a fluffy brush and just kind of dragged this down so that way there's not like a harsh line, you know? And now we are going in with a pastel rainbow. So starting with blue. I'm going to be taking shade Bubble Bath. So I'm going to take it on the tip of this really tiny flat brush. This is a doe color number 11 brush. And I'm just going to tap this right along the whole top of this um, cut crease. I'm going to take it about to the bend and then I'm going to stop. The next color is green. So I'm going to be taking the shade Inside Joke. This one here. And I'm just taking it on the same brush and I'm going to lay it down right under there. Then we have yellow. I'm going to take shade Secrets. And again, just dipping the tip of the brush in. I think I'm going to take some of this yellow from Makeup and Murder. This is the pastel. Babe, you're, there's no way you're going to get that on. 
Come here. And I'll go over all the colors again. I'm just gonna lay them down first, but I feel like I just need just a smidge of a brighter yellow. Next is orange. I'm actually gonna mix these two together. Hopefully get a nice, soft, peachy color. The last color is red, but since these are more like peachy tones, I'm going to take these two mixed together. And then I'm going to go ahead and make sure everything's blended before I move on the general idea though it looks wild right now but trust the process this is what it looks like blended I'm gonna take those same purples now I'm gonna smoke them this way okay I'm gonna take a small brush with shade bewitched I'm gonna make sure that it's coming from under my eye So I'm just kind of doing a wing shape. Oh, like that. And then I'll blend it out with the other purples. So next I'm taking shade Signs on the same brush. I'll start blending this out. Okay. And then lastly, shade Giggle. So now I'm just going to kind of keep going back and forth between those colors until you could see them all in the blend. I feel like with the liner and the lashes, I think everything will come together really nice. Um, I'm going to take, I have this sheen liner in the shade Coolant. So I'm going to do a line of that probably. So I know in this picture it's up, but I'm just going to trace, I'm just going to do a little dash of the blue. So I just did that blue along here. I think that it looks absolutely fucking insane <laughs> i need lashes for sure to finish off everything else so i want to go for i don't want to i don't want my lashes to be the statement i need the makeup to be the statement i'm thinking these ones yes these are the beauty creation lashes in the style t these are the lashes glued on i'm just taking the catrice true skin foundation this is the hydrating foundation shade i don't know because it doesn't say great a little pale i think it'll be fine though i feel like the color always looks crazy but then when i blend it out i'm like okay that looks much better it's just like super saturated right now next i'm taking the pink honey bff face frosting this is the shade milky mocha So I'm taking a very pale blush today. So I'm going to be taking concealer. I'm going to be taking the one size concealer, shade Fair N, and the Juvia's Place. So the one size concealer. I'm going to put right here. In the Juvia's Place, I'm going to put in my inner corner. I want to keep certain areas bright. You ain't gotta say bye-bye, baby, this is hello. Wow. 
Now I'm taking the P. Louise. Um, this is the basic bright shade Winter Rose. So pretty, so pretty. For my bronzer, I'm gonna take the Hula Benefit bronzer. Benefit Hula. This is an unearthly brush. For setting under my eyes, I'm gonna take the Jaclyn X Robin Sheer Fair Powder. And then for the rest of my face, I'm gonna set with the Maybelline Superstay. So I always start under my eyes. I'm going to take the Jaclyn Under Eye Brightening Face Palette. Now that my face is set, I'm going to take the Blend Bunny Juicy Cheeks Face Palette. And I think I'm going to take... So I'm just taking this on a Morphe X Jaclyn brush. I'm just going right over that blush. Then I'm going to take the Blend Bunny Noctilucent Highlighter Palette and I'm going to take the shade Far Out, which is purple. And then for my inner corner brow bone, I'm going to take shade Enlighten, which is the yellow. It's like a little pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So now I'm going to finish up under the eyes. I'm just going to take that same purple blend right under. I'm also just going to put white in my waterline. Um, and I'm thinking like a pinky lip. So let me go ahead and finish everything up and I will come back when I'm like, she's going to look good when I come back. Here we have the completed look. There's just something about a nice pastel rainbow blend that just hits different, you know? Um, I went ahead and I went in with very pinky lip. Um, this is the NYX um, lip liner shade whipped caviar, the unearthly um, satin matte lipstick, oops, um, shade Olivia, and then the Blend Bunny Bare Essentials Lip Oil in the shade Baby Girl to complete the pink. Mm. That lip oil is so nice too. It's like very hydrating. Well, let me know what you guys think, your thoughts and opinions. That Blend Bunny highlighter though. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That is going to complete today's video. Um, I really do hope that you guys enjoyed. Definitely don't forget to like and subscribe if you like me and if you like my content. Without further ado, we're going to go right on ahead. Roll the clip.